hi welcome back to my channel <laughs> okay i was about to take a nap from yesterday i had a very crazy friday with a few friends of mine where we indulged in a few cocktails which we thought were not lethal until today morning yeah anyway um i'm beat but i feel like there is something that has been bothering me and that is why on this video of my two cents oops two cents i'm going to be addressing something i have seen and it is bothering me as a parent hi so i had to change my angle because that up aerial view was not working for my head i look like i had a big head and a very small body yeah anyway um what has been bothering me is that i have been reading stories on the internet about men being lured by younger women who are actually minors but lie that they are 22 or in campus and stuff like that i even read a story that there's a guy who f was flirting with a, a girl in class six and she lied she was in form two form three luckily they didn't do anything but you see that's that one story that nothing happened how sure are we like like how many ladies have been in that situation or rather how many ladies have lied about it about their ages and stuff like that so my 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 standing is that i feel kids right now are growing up too fast because they we have social media we have like okay not even social media like media in general is so directed towards sexuality and stuff like that we may not see it openly but if you closely look at the advertisements and um, the the any basically everything has been sexualized to a whole new level such that sex is now the new normal yes we know sex sells but if sex is selling to our kids then that means we are doing something wrong anyway it's already rotten so what can we do to change this i feel like what we can do to change this is change our parenting style as a parent i know we are not perfect and i won't be perfect i won't lie there's a time that my daughter is going to be a teenager and i'm going to be to be lacking in something and i hope i'll have fr like sane friends to bring me back and tell me yo rita you've done this wrong nini, nini, nini. so i feel right now what should happen is parents should be more open with their kids from a very young age because we always expect kids to mature when they hit puberty but as we can see they are maturing even before puberty like right now utapata mtoto wa class 2 anajugis nini she's they've even done it yeah anajua like sex nini and stuff like that things that we we found out like when we were in in high school and things like that another thing is that even like children now are maturing really fast like girls are getting boobs really early I, I don't know if you've noticed this me i'm 28 right now but if you put me next to a 16 year old I could easily pass like the 16 year old and it's not because ati 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 venyana kam yang it's just because i think they, they are a bit they know too much when i draw too much and i feel like since they are in a hurry to know too much i feel as a parent you should be that person the first source of information should be from you because once they get this information from their peers it becomes more of a competition of you have done this you have you know in a competition kuna ile prowess ya oh wo mekisiwa wo me have sex wo me have sex na vijana watatu like now it's like more of a of a like in itonga nini the more people you've had sex with is like a, an achievement it's not kitambo ilikuwa tu like oh my god you're a ho right, right now being a ho is like the in thing and it's not right um having sex with minors is wrong on all levels so um what i th i would advise anyone in this situation is talk to your children as early don't lie to them and give them both sides of the story don't just tell them don't go out and you don't tell them why you know don't tell them don't have sex and you don't tell them why if you, you're supposed to tell them when you have sex you you might get pregnant or give someone a baby you might 
contact an ST, STI or an STD, you might get HIV, you might, yeah, yani, give them both sides and also tell them the truth. They might or might not. Give them that opportunity to make that decision that they are going to do it. Yeah, just give them the tools and make them make that choice. Because, so, I'm all this, Nabado, Hafani. So, at the end of it all, after you've done all this, I feel like you should just have faith that they will listen to what you've said. Because, yeah. Another thing I would I would suggest to parents is um I pause because this is very important and I'd forgotten to mention it in the video. Guys, when you go out for a date, do not fear to ask for someone's ID if they look younger. Okay, back to the video. I yes I know things about privacy and stuff like that and kids don't like when their privacy is is um is breached but i feel like if your child is under 18 you have the right to check through their phones have strict rules such that i saw that one of uh, my friends she has a teenager she does this when it gets to when when the daughter was when she got the phone when she was around 15 yeah so when the daughter was 15 she got her phone to communicate to the teachers and stuff like that groups and also some of her friends so she's only allowed to call her mom dad and her big sister and she's also allowed to she's allowed to take some of the people but the contact list on her phone is controlled such that the mom knows her phone has this this and this also ikifika sambili ya usiku that was when she was 15 the phone was taken she never used to go to the bedroom with her phone then when she got now to 16 the time was now 9 p.m yani as the older they grow the more you add hours yeah up until now when they're 18 and they're able to make the decision it's fine they can hold they can have their phone but you see uh, creating such boundaries at an early age ensures that your child knows what is happening yeah and imagine if you open with them they know you're going to check their phone and stuff like that i feel like they shall do the right thing yeah and and you being an open parent they won't have a reason to hide anything from you yeah so yeah this is my two cents i'm i might be wrong i might not I might not um, align to what you think and that's okay and I'm entitled to my own opinion yeah um, but hey I have to like address what I'm saying and I hope it makes sense to someone who's a parent or who is soon to be a parent or who has a brother who's a teenager and stuff like that yeah so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching my video like share and subscribe till next time Till the next time I get my two cents.